What's up everyone? This is going to be a video about Python packages, pip, wheel files, and how to handle and install packages. So if you're a Python user, there's going to come a time when you're going to need to install a package. And the good thing is there's a really good package manager called pip, and it's very easy, very straightforward. So what pip means, well the P stands for pip, so it's pip installs packages. I believe I said that right. So um, there's good documentation at this website here. It's packaging.python.org installing. So you can read about uh, what packages are and also what pip is. So pip, like I said, it's the um, package manager, the package installer. So to give you an example, let's say I want to install PyInstaller, which is a package. So you can just do pip install PyInstaller. And what, well, I already have it, but what pip is doing is it's going to the Python package index site and it's if either getting a wheel file or a um, distribution file. So what I mean by that is there's this site called pypy.python.org slash pypy. So what pypy is is Python, so py, package, p, index. So this site has pretty much all the Python packages in one site. So you can see there are currently uh, over 107,000 packages, which is a lot. So you can come here, you can read about all the packages. If you want to contact the admins, you can do that. So yeah, basically when you do pip install some package, it's most likely going to get it from here. Or I think it definitely is getting it from here. So yeah, back to installing packages. There, this website, which I'll add in the description, it does a good, a really good explanation of how to use pip. So to install, you just uh, you just say pip install. So let's see. Um, yeah, well, you just say pip install your package. Um, let's see. Yeah, so pip install some package. If you want to specify like a specific version of the package, you just say pip install some package equals some version number. If you also, if you want to, if you're not sure which one you want, but you know it's like greater than one version one and less than version two, you can add these greater than or equal to and less than or equal to symbols and to install a version that's compatible with a certain version you can do pip install tilde equals some version so it also talks about the difference between source distribution files and wheels so wheels are it's a bit, it's basically two different versions of packages and um I'm not exactly sure but it says that wheels are preferred so if pip does not find a wheel to install, it will locally build a wheel and cache it for future installs. Um, oh yeah, here we go. So wheels are pre-built pre distribution format that provides faster inst installation compared to source distributions. So I guess wheels are like the preferred format. So yeah, pip is your installer and just to also mention um, setup tools. So uh, if I search setup tools. So what setup tools is, is a way to create distributions or packages. So if you want to create your own distribution, you can use setup tools. And yeah, so there also may come a time when for some reason the package you can't find the package so your pip install some package doesn't work and what you can do in in that sense is you can download the wheel file directly 
and then you can install directly from a wheel file. So a great resource for wheel files is this unofficial Windows binary for Python extension packages. So I'll add a link to this site in the description. I mean, and this thing has pretty much everything for Windows 2. Point, or for Python 2.7, 3.4, 3.5, like it's got every version, like it just has a ton of wheel files for tons and tons of packages. So for example, let's say I want to get OpenCV, I can search and you can see all the binaries for OpenCV for, for Python 2.7, 32-bit version, 64-bit version. So let's say I download this um, OpenC ver OpenCV version 3.2 for Python 3.5, 64-bit. So I click, it downloads. I go here and, oh man, it's going slow. But anyways, I'll CD into downloads. And I'll wait a second for this to download. It's pretty weird. It's, yeah, it's really slow. I don't know, maybe website's getting held up. But anyways, I have it. So this wheel file is in my downloads folder, so I just go into my downloads folder, I just do pip install that wheel file so it's should be open cv hit tab to autocomplete. I hit run, it's going to download it. I already have it installed so, you know, it says it's already done. So yeah, so that's how you download directly from a wheel file. If you if pip install for some reason isn't working for your package, you can go to this unofficial uh, wheel file website, find it, download it, and and install directly from that from that file. So yeah, that's basically it. Just a quick video on how to use pip. Maybe you learned something new that you didn't know about it, but yeah, it's a really useful tool, and you're gonna use it at some point. So you might as well just learn how to do it. So. Like always, if you have questions, leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer. If you like the video, leave me a like. If you want to get more videos in the future, just uh, hit that subscribe button. So, yeah, I'll be back for more videos soon. Later.